President Biden is asking Congress for $4 billion more dollars to replenish FEMA's disaster relief fund. This is on top of the $12 billion request he made last month. Washington correspondent Brendan Cullerton is joining us live from our nation's capital with a political roundup for us this afternoon. Uh, Brendan, President Biden is asking Congress to approve $4 billion more, and it's all because of, I guess, an increase in the number of natural disasters we've seen across the country? Well, Mark and Rosanna, that's exactly right. The White House issuing this release saying they now are asking for a total of $16 billion from Congress. The White House, FEMA, they can spend the money that's already been approved at their discretion, but they do need that congressional approval to expand the pot of resources for these communities. And they say there have just been too many natural disasters. They marked 15 of them this calendar year. There's currently four going on that they're dealing with right now. You have the hurricane that made landfall in Florida just this week. You've got flooding in Vermont. You've got the wildfires in both Maui and in Louisiana. They can't keep up. What remains to be seen is if particularly Republicans in Congress are willing to sign off on this ask from the president. And for the first time in three years, interest started occurring on federal student loans today. What does the timeline for people having to repay those loans look like? Right, and to give a crash refresher course for anyone who forgot, the loans, the payments were paused back in 2020 due to the pandemic. President Biden had a plan to wipe them out, but that was uh, stonewalled by the Supreme Court back in June. That's how we got to today. The payments will begin being due in October. Different dates for different people. They're going to be the same payments that you had before they were paused, but unlike many other loans, student loans can accrue interest daily as opposed to weekly or monthly. So even if you don't have to pay until October, it might be in people's best interest to start making those payments now. Let's switch gears now to Donald Trump. A Fulton County, Georgia judge has announced that his racketeering trial there in Georgia will be televised. What kind of details did the judge provide about that process? And that judge did say the decision is subject to change, so it could be reversed. But the current plan is that the trial will be live streamed on the Fulton County YouTube account. They're also going to allow select cameras into the room, most likely one national and one local camera. That's the plan right now. In addition to being potentially reversed, there's also the possibility that this case moves to federal court. That's what former Trump chief of staff Mark Meadows has requested. Federal courts famously do not allow cameras in the room. So if you're rooting for a live court trial on TV, you want this court or you want this case to remain in Georgia. Mm -hmm. All right. Brendan Cullerton live in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much for your time and keeping us up to date. Thanks, guys.